Hello everybody. I just thought I would shoot a video today because yesterday I had a birthday. And so with birthdays often comes reflection both on the past and what you'd like to do going forward. And it may not be quite the same as a New Year's resolution, but I often like to think about what it is I would like to do in the next year of my life when my birthday rolls around. And one of the nice things about having your birthday at the very end of May is so many things. And especially when you live in Michigan, because in Michigan, we have gorgeous spring weather in May, and it usually is very conducive for getting out and doing things. So I often have great birthdays where there's just a lot of fun and it ends up sometimes turning into a week long or two week long birthday celebration or even a month. You know, it depends on what's going on, but it's often even a time we'll go on vacation because it's before uh, kids have been let out of school. And um, sometimes my birthday actually lands on Memorial Day, not this year, but sometimes you can even beat the Memorial Day rush. So that's kind of cool too. But uh, because of that, I've just had a lot going on, um, especially since I just got back to Michigan at the beginning of May or early in May after a four month um, hiatus in California over the winter. And so since I've been back, it's been sort of this nonstop kind of like uh, activity um, if you happen to hear, I don't know if it's picking it up, but my bird likes to fight with his toys. He's really, you know, a, you know, he really likes to dominate those toys and show who's boss. But anyway, I heard him kind of going at it, so it might have picked that up. But anyway, um, since I've been back, it's been like nonstop. And one of the things was that my brother and his family was staying with me over the last week. And we had went on a trip to Mackinac Island up in northern Michigan and had just a slew of activities going on. So I really hadn't had a chance to much think about what's going forward. And they left yesterday morning and that kind of like... Um, closed out an entire month of just plans that I had going on and things that were taking place. And now I'm kind of left with like a lot of open space to say, what do I, what do I want to do in this year to come? And I know I've talked a little bit in previous videos about different things I'm getting interested in and definitely, um, enjoying all that. I mean, I just filmed a little video of some of the progress taking place in my gardens and seeing those things kind of start to take shape. I mean, these are like the early things. These are not like the final. So, um, you know, might highlight some of those, but it was just kind of, it's just kind of cool to see that it's working so far and to see where it goes. And that's of course something that some of my focus has been on, but I also have a lot of personal projects that, um, have been kind of looming in the background. One of course has been that I have had a book written for a while now. It was supposed to come out earlier this year, but just due to life circumstances and things that were taking place, it was just a little difficult to get it to the finish line, but I have been working on it. I have um, been in the final editing mode and it is getting closer to completion with plans to still release that this year. And I am super excited about that. And I think one of the things that really definitely Definitely, you know, will inspire a writer is when you hear from a reader and it was somebody I actually heard from somebody who it was in the perfect demographic of who I've written my previous two books for and the excitement that this person shared for both of those books and how much they love them definitely inspires me to want to get it done that much more because it's like, you know, you, you, you want to write knowing that it, that you have an audience of people who are going to appreciate it, but you want to do it for yourself too, because you have your own goals. And I think it's important to complete the things that you start because so often it's easy to like, let life take you away from these projects. And, um, anyway, that was just what I needed. It's it God always sends somebody to encourage. And while I'm getting closer. It was like that extra push that I needed. So that's probably going to be a huge focus for me over the next month. I'm, I'm really expecting to buckle down on that and, um, get moving. Uh, and I, and so we'll see what goes on with that. Of course, I also have music that's been in the works for a while. I, I hope to be able to spend some time on that. It really just depends on other things that are going on because, 
oh, there's just so many looming opportunities that I could look into. And it's going to be, I'm just going to have to pray about a lot of it and just see that God uh, directs. And, and he always does. But I find that um, creative endeavors are always worth the effort as far as personal satisfaction, but I'm really, really praying that God will establish the work of my hands and have my time not be wasted. So I want to do those things that he calls me to. And of course, I want to do more painting and I want to do more. Oh, one of the things that I've talked about a bit is um, the poetry I write is that that's another book that I'm hoping to come out with in probably the next year is I want to finish up to get to a certain number of what I consider solid poems and come out with that book. And so I'm, you know, going to be focusing on that a lot. And speaking of poetry, I just thought I'd also share a couple of my um, birthday gifts I got yesterday. And so one of the cool things, you know, as a poetry lover is that I got this really neat Oh, it's, it's, it's backwards, but it basically says a child's garden of verses. And it's Robert Louis Stevenson, who, of course, wrote Treasure Island. And his poetry is actually exceptional. But I love this book because it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Like, these illustrations really have a vintage quality that is just stunning with, um, you know, his different... He had a lot of um, poems that would appeal to children. But one of my personal favorites, let me see here. Oh, that's cute. The Wind. <laughs> see, this is a poem called The Wind. Well, it's backwards. But, you know, you get the gist of just how cool that is. So these are some of the things I plan to, in to really delve into. Oh, the flowers. You know. And, um, yeah, he has a lot of seasonal stuff, things with rain. Oh, look, windy nights. Ooh. So anyway, I love this book. I'm so, I was so excited to get this, even though it's a children's book. I still appreciate, um, the effort that goes into writing great children's poetry and literature. And of course, the illustrations and art it inspires me. I'd like to see, you know, if there's anything I'm capable of doing in illustration mode eventually, but even if not even working with an illustrator. So we'll see, because I'd like to actually add some illustrations to my poetry book. And so I'm going to be inspired by that. A couple other quick things. Um, my brother got me the Criterion uh, version of this amazing movie called Brief Encounter. It's a British drama and it, I, he's the one who introduced me to this movie and I think it is absolutely fantastic. It's a beautiful movie about two people who meet in a train station and there's a lot of drama there but it was such an interesting movie. Sometimes there's these hidden gems, these classic hidden gems that you know you think like you've seen everything or you've heard of everything worthwhile and then you find something that you're like how did I not know about this movie but it's excellent so if you ever get the chance to um watch Brief Encounter. I highly recommend it. It's a beautiful movie. And then I also got um, on Blu-ray finally because I know uh, one of my other brothers was wanting to watch this. And this is Whiplash, which is one of the best movies I've ever seen. I mean, there is a lot of language in this movie if, if you're sensitive to that. But if you're, especially if you're a musician or anybody who's ever strived toward excellence or even just the philosophy of like, how much is too much that you give yourself to something? It, it's just, it, it, it raises so many philosophical questions. I This is like one of, I mean, this is one of the greatest movies I have seen in the last, you know, however many years. And even, I mean, I was kind of late to this one, which I had it on my list forever. Um, but when I saw it, I mean, I literally wanted to stand up in my living room and applaud. I mean, for a movie to make you feel that way is very rare. But the acting and the writing and the whole thing is so superb. You know, it has to do with drumming, you know, and a uh, band teacher, you know. And But you're like, wow, that is some intense drama and it's scary. It almost plays out like a horror movie or something. But it is incredible and it gets you to think and... um Anyway, it's just very intense. So I just thought I'd share a couple of those things too because one of the other things that I love to do is to immerse myself in great art and great works of literature. And of course, um, as a Christian, 
immerse myself further in scripture and the inspiration that you get from God's word. And um, those are my plans for this coming year is just to seek those things out and to continue with my series and chanting places. And I have such a wealth of footage now for so many places and then places that I still want to go and film for. And it, you know, it's just this little series that I'm doing, but it's something that I'm excited about. And so I'll be, ex so I'm just eager to share all that. So that's where I'm at, at the ripe old age of 46. Yep, there I said it. That's my age. Now you know, but I have nothing to hide because it's been 46 years of a lot of experience, a lot of growth, um, a lot of spiritual growth, and just uh, learning and relationships. And I mean, God has done so many things in my life to celebrate. Why would I not be proud of that? So anyway, I just thought I would share a little where I'm at on this the day after my 46th birthday. Anyway, I hope you have a beautiful day and Enjoy the summer weather.